Hi, I'm Tom Beckstrand. I'm the Rifle and Optics Editor at Guns and Ammo, and this is Sako's new S20. Now, as you look at this rifle, there are a number of new features uh, on it, um, but the important thing to remember is that the barreled action is classic Sako. It's got a hammer forged barrel. Uh, it's available in 20 and 24 inch lengths. Uh, the, t the lighter sporter contour here with the flutes is available both 20, 24. Uh, however, the, the barrel's meaty enough that it's threaded 5 8 24, so you can put a suppressor on it, no problem. There is a heavier contour that's only available with a 24 inch length. It too is threaded 5 8 24. Uh, but the receiver is, is, there's a lot of new stuff going on here. Uh, one is there's an integral Picatinny rail uh, that's part of the receiver. Uh, a lot of times when people hear integral scope rail, they want to know integral uh, recoil lug. Well, the, uh, the recoil lug is set, is a steel recoil lug. It's set down into the aluminum uh, sub-chassis right here, and that steel recoil lug fits into a recess in the action. Um, the extractor and ejector are classic Sako. They're in the right spot. Uh, what you'll see is when you shoot and run that bolt, uh, the, the, the fired pieces of brass stay away from the windage turret. Um, that's kind of a big deal. You bounce enough pieces of brass off your windage turret. Sooner or later, one of them's going back inside the action. It's going to tie things up. <laughs> now it's time to be sad. So Sako, you know, all the basics, they, they, they just get right. Um, the real story here is it's highly modular. Now this rifle that you see is set up for kind of your precision rifle. You just want to go and spend a day at the range and have a good time or maybe shoot a match. Um, but what Sako has allowed you to do is by removing a couple of screws, you can completely pull this, the buttstock off and attach this portion of the buttstock, um, which is a, maybe a little more hunter friendly. It's the thumb hole stock. It's a little more sl slender. Um, but both of these stocks are uh, adjustable length of pull via spacer and adjustable comb height. Um, so highly adjustable and then of course you'll notice there are steel flush cups you've got one on either side of the buttstock and then up here you've got one on other side of the forend and what that allows you to do is take those quick detached sling swivels and just very easily put them exactly where you want them which is a really nice touch it's about time we start seeing stuff like that on factory guns uh, if you want to uh, exchange forends now this one's about a little over an inch wide flattish on the bottom. Uh, if you want to exchange that for something that's round on the bottom, a little more comfortable in the hand, a little more, once again, hunting appropriate, uh, you can. There's some disassembly required. There are three action screws that hold this receiver into that aluminum sub chassis. So you've got to remove the polymer skin, uh, remove those three action screws, and then you can put the rifle back together however you'd like it. Um, the magazines that come with this, uh, you've got a 10 rounder here, and, and a five rounder here. This is for, you know, your, your traditional short action standard cartridges like a 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, one of the things you'll notice, and it's a very big deal once you get to the short magnums, is there's a, a lot of space out in front of the bullets. So it is, as your rifling in your throat erodes, you can seat those bullets longer. When you get to the, you know, this rifle is available in 6.5 PRC. A lot of times what you'll find is in an AICS pattern magazine, that factory length is all you get. You can't seat that bullet long as your throat erodes, but you will be able to in the Sako S20. Um, so that's a quick intro to the Sako S20. If you'd like to know more about this rifle, you can go to www.sako.fi.